Hello, so today we'll be looking at a few more questions in the tri uh, <coughs> trigonometry. So let's look at the first one first. Here, arc tangent is equal to 1, and we're looking for the angle here. Now, uh, in this case, we're going to assume that the angle in degrees is between 0 through 360 degrees, or in radian, we're going to say it is between 0 through 2 pi. All right. Then, uh, when do you have tangent to be equal to 1? Yes, in this case, uh, since the tangent of 45 degrees is equal to 1, then we know that one angle will be equal to 45 degrees. Now, but another one is tangent is positive on the third quadrant. On the third quadrant with the 45 degrees, it would be in fact equal to 225 degrees. All right. Now, next one is converting this one into the radian measures. 45 degrees basically will be equal to this. R, the radian measure, over uh, 45 degrees is equal to pi over 180 degrees. Now, once you cross multiply and then solve for it, then R will be equal to the radian measure, or theta, in this case, will be equal to pi over 4. Now, or another way of looking at it, 225 going through the same procedure, you'll end up getting 5 pi over 4. All right, so let's look at the second question. Arc sine of negative 1 half. Now, since sine is negative 1 half, we are looking at third and fourth quadrant. So if I have to just mark it, we are looking at these two. Uh, since the value is 1 half, that means uh, the reference angle here in this case will be equal to 30 degrees. So 30 degrees in third and fourth quadrant. That means theta should be equal to 210 degrees on the third quadrant and the fourth quadrant it will simply be 330 degrees. Now using the same uh, same ratio here we get to realize that instead of putting 45 degrees we can put 210 then you will realize for example theta over 210 degrees will be equal to pi over uh, 180. Now then in this case you will realize that uh, one of the first answer which you will get is equal to 7 pi over 6. Now 330 will then uh, becomes 11 pi over 6. Now arc sine of 1. Uh, in fact this one we only have one value for it which is uh, theta has to be equal to 90 degrees and 90 degrees will be equal to pi over 2 by using the same ratio. All right, let us move on to the second set of questions. Here, in fact, what we need to do is we need to use the uh, calculator. R cosine of negative uh, uh, nearest to the nearest degree, and then once again, we're going to assume that the uh, angle goes from 0 through 360 degrees. Now, here we're going to have R cosine, that means second cosine of negative 0.6 in fact okay that's right we have this one in radian measure that's right if you had to convert this one in degree measure and type that once again and press enter then it becomes 126 so in fact here first case will be this angle theta will be equal to 127 degrees. Now another one where cosine is negative is on the third quadrant. So in this case you will realize that the reference angle is in fact equal to 180 minus 127 which would have been equal to 53 degrees. So using a reference angle of 53 degrees we can, say that, we can say that on the third quadrant, cosine uh, of that value would have been equal to 180 plus 53, which would be equal to 233 degrees. Now, let us look at the second question. Our cosine of negative 0.9, once again we are looking at cosine being negative, then we are 
looking at second and third quadrant. So here we have second cosine of negative 0.9. So here we have uh, one angle will be equal to 154 degrees. The other angle, since the reference angle uh, is equal to 26 degrees, as you can see, the so second angle would have been equal to uh, 206 degrees because we got this one from 180 plus 26. Now, uh, tangent has to be a uh, positive one. Then what? Uh, how are we going to evaluate this one? Uh, tangent is uh, one. That means we are looking at uh, 45 degrees. So in fact, this will be equal to sine of 45 degrees. So th therefore, this in fact becomes we are looking at to be uh, radical two over two. Now, in this case, sine is negative. That means uh, the principal angle, uh, principal angle for the sine, in fact, becomes negative uh, 90 to positive 90. So this one must be in the fourth quadrant, where tangent is also negative. That means here we have this basically becomes a tangent of negative 30 degrees. Now, you can get this one through your calculator if you want to. Then in this case, tangent of negative 30 degrees, then this becomes, we look, uh, we're looking at negative radical 3 over 3. Alright, that's it.